Hey, Tim here. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to get ready for the virtual version of the Tableau conference in 2022. Now for the first time, Tableau is running both a virtual and an in-person conference, but I'm just going to be focusing on the virtual conference in this video. In a separate video after conference, I'll talk about conference in general. Before we get stuck in, I'm actually going to be doing a live stream of the main keynote and possibly a couple of other sessions as well, not least Ironviz and also the uh, devs on stage sort of rehash. So be sure to check that out. I'm going to be joined by a previous guest, Andre. Last year we did it with Ravi, but Ravi is going in person. I'm staying virtual. So I'm going to be budding up with Andre to cover all the sessions. We're going to be doing it in real time. We're going to be doing a very uh, interactive session over on YouTube. We're going to try and also simultaneously stream it to Twitter and Instagram where possible. But nonetheless, if all you do is watch our session, then go ahead and catch us on YouTube. You can find that on the main channel page as an upcoming stream. Just hit remind me and YouTube will ping you, will try and ping you when we go live as well. So be sure not to miss out. Now, when you head to the Tableau webpage, if you just go to tableau.com, um, you can't miss a Tableau conference. It's right on the homepage. Go ahead and click register. And once you're there, you'll get this page. And in this page, you can just go ahead and register. If you're already signed into your Tableau account, it will be able to register you with those details. But if you're not registered, then of course, it's going to ask you to uh, create a Tableau account. Then you can register for conference. That tends to be how those two things work. Once you've registered, you should have a page like this. This is essentially your personal information. It'll have the details about your attendance. The virtual conference is free, so there's no fee to pay. If you are attending in person, then this page will look the same, except for you will have had to pay for the conference uh, to get that sort of confirmation. Once you've got everything registered, you can, of course, head to the conference. And you can just do that by clicking this button here that says Tableau Conference on the right hand side. Click on that. It opens up a new page and you're pretty much ready to set yourself up for conference. Now, I'm going to walk you through how this page works. It's really quite simple. It's very similar to last year. So if you took part in the virtual conference last year, you can finish watching this video. here. <laughs> there's nothing new to watch. Um, there's only a couple of things that have been omitted from this conference. So I'll try and cover those a little later on. I'll put something in the timestamps titled what's missing from this year's virtual conference. Now, when you head to this page, as you scroll down, you've obviously got a summary of everything that's going on. Here are the key things to pay attention to. First of all, there are three different time zones. This very same to last year, but you have the specific date and times for each time zone. And actually the time zones make a lot of sense, but my feedback to you here is if you can at all help it, watch the American version. The American version is happening simultaneously with the live conference, and therefore you won't be missing out on conversations as they take place. It's no surprise that, of course, the people attending tend to be, you know, quite vocal in the community. So if you're going on Twitter and you're watching it maybe with a day lag or two day lag, you'll get this sort of weird experience where most of the conversations have already been had because a lot of the community members, even those from your you know, home country who talk about that topic, will have attended the conference. And so they'll be doing it in the American time zone. So definitely try and watch everything in the American time zone. I'll show you how to understand which time zone the content is in once we start to look at the schedule. Um, the sessions to look forward to, these are always a must in my opinion. Ironviz, the keynote and the keynote speaker, which this year is Hannah Fry, who's a mathematician here from the UK, but she's going to be doing a session in London. You've got the Tableau Doctor sessions and then you've got the ability to connect with people. Let's break each of these down. First, let's start with the schedules. Now, when you're planning your schedule, there's two ways to do this. There's the session program and the session library. If you go to session program, think of this as a TV guide. It essentially has all the sessions running at any given time, but it's mapped to your time zone that you're currently in. And it's essentially reading that time zone from your computer. So the time here, 5 p.m. is my time zone here in the UK. If you visit this in another part of the world, these time will reflect your particular time zone. And so it shows you the relative time for the content across all the regions against your time zone. So here you can see that the American session starts on May the 17th at 5 p.m. UK time. In the American schedule, if I just go back to the page, let me go back to the home page here in another tab, you can see that it's actually a 9 a.m. start. So these sessions are showing you relativity, if that makes sense. And if you've added something to your session, it shows up as blue. You can see this session here is blue. If you haven't added something, you can see that it remains uh, sort of this darker shade of blue. And what you can do is you can just browse the sessions like this, a bit like a TV guide. And you can sort of say, okay, I wanna go to this session on data culture. I want to go to this session on all things data and I want to go to this session on the Tableau economy 
and you can keep going down. I hate that it kind of takes you back to the top every time you uh, you pick something. Uh, kind of makes it for a painful experience getting to the very bottom. But thankfully, there's not that many sessions uh, each day, so it's quite easy to do that. Um, and you can sort of get to the bottom of the session. I'll also add this last keynote here as well from Hannah Fry. Now, when you get to the end, you see you get the end of the first broadcast. And of course, on the first day, there's only the American broadcast. If I go to the next day, just over here at the top, um, you'll see that the next day starts at least in the UK at 2 a.m. And this is the Asian specific uh, broadcast. And of course, you've got the keynote again, um, the various sessions we've just seen again. And then we get the beginning of the European session at 9 a.m. UK time. And so you get the third running of all of these. So I'm not subscribing to any of these because I'm going to try and catch all of this using the UK time zones and American broadcast, if that makes sense. So you can go ahead and add everything here and it's pretty easy. Now, the other way to add content, if you go back to the homepage, if you go to the sessions and this time you go to the session library. Now the session library is a bit more like a search experience. So if you go down here to roll, you can essentially you know filter the sessions to the particular uh, sort of background you're in and you can uh, pick a topic as well. Let's say you want to learn more about the Tableau Exchange, you will see it filter um, sessions for the analysts that are about the Tableau economy. And you can see all of those sessions are there. And then you can go ahead and add them. Now, if you want to add them to a specific time uh, zone, you can then go ahead, select the broadcast region, pick the specific one you want. I'm going to go for the American ones. And now I'm not seeing duplicates of the session. So you can go ahead and add um, a live Tableau Accelerators Jumpstart. And let's look at Spotlight as well. That will build that session there. So now you've had this experience. You've sorted everything. Um, you've put everything into your schedule. Now you might want to look at your schedule. The fastest way I can think of doing this, if you go to the My TC page, it actually does show you like a schedule uh, of just the sessions that you've selected. You can see it's not quite got the same sort of uh, timetable as we saw before, because this is just the content that you've said yes to. So you're kind of filling up these slots like a calendar and you can sort of see them in one place. You can also download the calendar. So you can go over here to the download option. And if I do that, I'm actually just going to save this to my uh, desktop. You can see I've actually already done this one. So I'll replace the one that was there. And then if I go to my calendar of choice, which in this particular case is Fantastical, I can actually open this particular uh, event and let's just add this in. I'll import it to this untitled calendar. We'll import 11 events and let me open it up on screen. So there you go. And you can see that I've actually got my sports calendar showing here as well, but you can see all the Tableau conference sessions that I've uh, essentially added here just um, Let's just exit that. All the all the Tableau conference sessions have just been added in this sort of uh, large space. I keep trying to add another event. I don't know why I'm doing that, but you can see the events are just here on the left hand side. So it's a really good way of doing this. Each of these sessions will have a link uh, as well. So if you double click any of them, you can obviously just select a link. It will take you straight to the event and you'll see that they are all pretty much on point. Now, when the event is running, this page will change so slightly. So you'll be able to see all the currently running sessions and you'll be able to sort of log into different channels that are running these sessions. The way to think of this, if I go back to the session program, is you'll essentially have multiple channels. So you'll have six channels, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these vertical columns represent channels. And so you want to make sure that you go to the appropriate channel for the appropriate bit of content. So all things data, for example, is going to be running on channel three. Uh, the customer 360 analytics uh, content and the Tableau economy content is all going to be running on channel four. And so that's a pretty sort of general overview of how the scheduling works. Now, the last thing you might want to do is to connect with people virtually. Now, one of the ways you can do that is during the sessions, there's actually a Slack channel that's created specifically for that session. So you can go ahead and click on this and it will launch the uh, Slack for Tableau conference. It will ask you to log in, review some community guidelines. Once you've agreed, everything is good. You should be able to go straight into the Slack experience. And from here, you can just start talking to people. So this is happening in Slack. You can actually add this in your Mac or Windows version of Slack if you have the desktop app already or if you use Slack already. So rather than having to go through the browser, you can just hop in and you'll see that the channels are already set up. So the six different channels are already set up. The Get Help channel is already there. People are already uh, posting things in here, but it's mostly a uh, Tableau. Um, and of course, people have hopefully started to introduce themselves. Uh, so no one's introduced themselves just yet, um, but there's a bunch of sort of basic content. I think 
I think at the moment the channels have been disabled, so that's why no one has said anything. So once conference starts, hopefully you'll be able to start to add to this content um, in the future. But if I head back, uh, the other way you can connect is the Tableau community. This is not a new thing. You can do this at any moment in time. Tableau just signposting you uh, to this in case this is the first time you've discovered this. So check out the Tableau community page. It's a little landing page that talks about all the different things that are going on in the community, the different ways you can get in touch, the different ways you can take part, whether it's user groups, forums, um, all of those are detailed here as well. So you can absolutely go and check those out. Uh, and then there's obviously the other ways of connecting. Now this year, we don't have brain dates and we don't have Tableau doctors. Those are purely reserved for the in-person experience. I get why this has been done in some sense because essentially um, I think it's a bit hard to split resources for this kind of thing to both manage in-person and virtual brain date. And then obviously the platforms need to be able to uh, separate those experiences. So you might want to only do in-person experience uh, you might want to only do in-person brain dates and you might, in some cases, might want to do a hybrid brain date. So someone in person talking to someone virtual. I don't know how that would work. So I think it makes sense that they've sort of separated it out. But nonetheless, those are not available in the virtual experience. So just be aware of that. You'll see them in the schedule. If I actually go back to the schedule and uh, go to my TC22, you'll see the two areas here at the top. This is because for those people attending, they're using the same experience here to organize their conference. So the virtual platform is being used to schedule the whole thing. And in essence, you'll see the doctor and the brain dates, but they're not available to you if you're virtual. The final thing to do is to go and get a photo at the photo gallery. So you can see here, there's a photo gallery, go in and you can see the photos that have already been taken. If you want some inspiration, people are taking photos already. I've already seen a meme here, which is uh, kind of funny. I love that. Um, that's a great uh, addition. Whoever did that, uh, top marks um, for creating that. But if you scroll down, you might be able to see some familiar faces. I took mine a few days ago. There I am. That's my photo. You can download this, muck around with it. Um, it's pretty cool that they have this available. And people use this for profile photos. It's actually a great way of making sure you have an up-to-date conference photo because one of the things with conference is that you want people to be able to find you, you want people to be able to network with you. So people have already been in and created uh, a bunch of uh, profile photos, which is absolutely fantastic. So I highly recommend that you do that. And then of course, there's the hashtag data 22. Um, you can find this across pretty much all social media platforms. So be sure to absolutely do that. And yeah, you're pretty much going to be uh, ready to go. Now, the last thing I always recommend doing is the sponsors page. You don't need to sort of spend a lot of time on here, but I think it is worth understanding the different technologies, the different partners and what they have to offer. These tend to be technologies and partners that work a lot with Tableau. And actually, um, if you talk to some of them, you might get some interesting ideas of how you can integrate Tableau better in your organization. Last but not least, the help pages. This is a really, really good page. It has a video that shows you what to do before you go for in-person and virtual. But then you've also got some frequently asked questions and these are actually been really well sort of curated. They pretty much covers everything you'd want to know about conference, both in person and virtual. So be sure to check that out as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's everything in a nutshell. I'll try to sort of keep that as brief as I possibly can. A lot of it is similar to last year. So if, again, if you went last year, no worries there. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.